partner with Footprint because I really was hoping for some solutions, not just, you know, preaching to not use that much single use plastic anymore, but actually offer also alternatives for that, for the low products. But the reason that I had to focus on jobs happened a little bit more organically. Uh, in general, I'm really trying to spread awareness against the herbs of all single use plastics. But because of my video, um, straws have become kind of a poster child for a much bigger problem. And I really want to get on board people that haven't thought that much about how much their daily choices actually impact um, you know, our planet. And straws are an, an item that is pretty much easily eliminated. And there are so many alternatives now out there. For example, paper straws from Footprint or other companies. But the reason I wanted to become a marine biologist was that my family always vacationed at the ocean and I was really, really scared in the beginning because when I went into the water, I could see there were some creatures and I wasn't really sure what it was. And my dad got really annoyed with me and just bought me a pair of goggles and said, well, put those on. There's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> he was a German, of course. And um, yeah, I just was absolutely fascinated. And after that, he had to drag me out of the water. And I think pretty much from that moment on, I knew I wanted to be at least an ocean explorer. I might have not known that word and neither the word biologist, but that pretty much paved the way for everything else that came after. So one thing I think is really cool about turtles is that they don't have a breathing reflex as we humans have, but it's a conscious decision. So that means every breath they take is actually kind of thinking, now I have to breathe, um, which also makes it really, really, really sad if they, for example, drown in fishing nets because, you know, it's not something that triggers it, but they know that they have to hold their breath and they get really stressed out and uh, they will not be able to breathe. But there are a few things that I do to try at least to eliminate as much plastic as possible. So I do like the usual things. I have a reusable water bottle. I have a coffee travel mug. I have um, a reusable cutlery set in my bag. I also challenged myself last year to eliminate one item every month um, and exchange it for something else. So for example, a lot of my cosmetica are now non-plastic anymore. So I should, for example, my shampoo. And I just look through my cupboards and, you know, look for things that I could eliminate as well. And it's the one that I believe a lot of times when people, you know, watch pretty documentaries on, on the television, they don't really, really realize what the realities look like in the field. And unfortunately, plastic has been a big sideline of, um, of, my, of my work history, even though it might have always been, you know, the main storyline. But the thing is, so that's the cause is fine, and that is what a lot of people don't get to see, right? So my reality is very different from everybody that is just at home. And I just want people to know that their choices matter every day. And, you know, whatever you do at home,